think we may end up filling out the will here. Depends on how much AP we have. I know we're probably getting towards the end of how much we have, but we'll figure it out. So far, so good. We're on the last inner circle here. This will at least give me all the basic necessities of any sort of potential weapon changes that I might have to do later on in the game. I don't know. I've heard Tokyo is a bit sh difficult to uh, deal with unless you're willing to change up things. Though I heard that about Transylvania too, but overall I haven't had to do anything different, at least. So I guess maybe we'll start with the mists and fill those out on the outer circles, because I already have one of them filled out. So I may as well do the other two. At least that's the way I just choose to see it. In any case, let's find out who next we're going to here. Since that cleared out that person, so we're going to go ahead and anima leap. I probably should have figured out it was the map beforehand. I noticed that some of the achievements now actually give you costume changes, that's really nice. Though I haven't changed my... Well, I have changed my suit and all that for Halloween, because I got like a bunch of Halloween items, but other than that I haven't actually changed out of the uh, original outfit that I got when I started this character. I was thinking about changing it when I got to Tokyo, but we'll see when we get there. The Anima Leap stuff does make sense though, that's fairly basic, I guess. As long as you like unlock the Animas, I guess that would make sense. I don't know. It beats having to hit reset all the time. And here we are, back into the shadowy forest. And as I was saying before, we've cleared out yet another character, so this time we're going to head off over... Uh, didn't realize that vendor was here, but we're heading off over towards this character over here, I guess. Did not expect to run into a werewolf right off the bell. Oh, crap. Now, at least there probably won't be any more, right? There we go. Alright, let's pick this up. Okay, so this is one of the ones where we have to follow the blood trail, if I can find it. And that's gonna lead us to whoever killed this guy.
Aha. And bring so much of wolves as well. Oh, let's get out of the way of that AoE. Alright, so we're heading over towards, it looks like a farm this time, if I just read that correctly. Demir Farm. They're tamed wolves, but they're still violent towards me. There's another side mission over here. So I guess the forest, the shadowy forest, is more aligned with the werewolves or something, because I remember the Siege Farmlands, the whole thing was like, the werewolves and the vampires were like two different sides, though I think they were like teaming up more in recent times or something along those lines. Though we haven't really seen anything in regards to vampires around in the shadowy forest, I don't think. It's been mostly just wolves and werewolves. Though then again, I think the main story here in Transylvania has to do with more of the vampires than the werewolves anyway, so... Well, that's quite the greeting. Farmers, we have broken no laws. They are not human. They make good sausage. Ah, oh, mummy, that hurt. We do not speak of sausages in front of strangers. My boy hunts strigoi and shapeshifters, same as you. Not as tasty as the blazin or the forest fairies or the. The padori do make an excellent stew. And why let it all go to waste? And so? What makes us different from you? We're on the same side in this war. It is humans against the rest of them. The unhumans, The lesser species. Do not judge us. Do not be so sanctimonious. The only difference between us is that they call you hero and they call us murderers. <sighs> Hypocrite. We do their dirty work and they shake their heads, but they still look the other way and allow us to kill. I like to kill, to feel the soft flesh tearing, the warm blood running. Silvio, not in front of strangers. S sorry, Mummy. You have been a bad boy. Go do your work. Go! You should be thanking us. We are helping, making things easier for all of you. Oh, it is so easy to call us evil, to call us monsters. But you cannot do anything about it. You will not. Your leaders will not. You cannot wash your hands of us. You need us. Your world needs us. 
to do what you cannot do. You need us! Sheesh. Okay. Let's see. Let's find out how they run their farm. And let's destroy it. Yeah. Okay, so we've come across a farm where the inhabitants are kind of very off keltered and are using goals as meat for their farm use. And boy, do they have a lot of wolves around. It's down here. Can't actually reach it from here, so I have to kill these wolves too. Can't use that. It's down here. Nothing, apparently. Just goes to a dead end. That's strange. Nope, can't use it. I wonder if that's for that other mission they have, because that one was a yellow one, and that's usually like going into somewhere. Whoops. I guess we'll find out after we're done with this one in any case. Yeah, here's some stuff. And since we have to destroy it, we're gonna see if we can... If we're not bugged anymore. If I still can't destroy things, then I seriously think my character might be bugged, so... No, we can destroy things now. Good, very good. Okay, that's one thing down. Gotta look around for things. I guess I probably should head more towards these houses, maybe. Ah, here's something. Right, the toolkits. I remember I was getting like really into toolkits before I stopped before I think and now I don't remember anything about them again so that's kind of pragmatic. Uh, wow they're hitting me from in here. Ah, here we go. This is probably the sedative. Okay, now we just have to find the chainsaw, which could literally be anywhere. It's probably outside, but I still haven't seen it before.
Okay, it's probably not out that way. Perhaps closer to here? I don't know. Over by these cut wood, maybe? Yes, there we go. Alright, on to the next tier. And we have to destroy pig totems, put sedums in the troughs, find the bar where they keep the bait. What are the pig totems, though? That's the question. Ah, it's those little flag things, I bet. Yeah, like those things. Okay. I see at least two around, but I don't see... And I think in that building is a trough. I don't know why we'd be putting sedatives in the troughs, though. Like, wouldn't that be the opposite of what you want to do if you're trying to just mess up the place? Like, today in the goal seems like it would be just making it easier for them to kill them and chop them up though. Need more of the totems. I don't think there's five totems around. I might have to start doing repeats. Okay, it's five. So if the other two have respawned over there already, then we should be good. Oh, I didn't even realize this one was more powerful than the other ones. I was losing health fast. I'm like, what? I forget what the crown symbol means. I know it's a stronger enemy, but I don't know how strong. Heal item. Uh, I don't know. I just usually grab anything that I can, because I know I tend to, like... Whenever I do change my stuff up, I tend to mix, max, max it up, see if I can get it to wear exactly how I want it. Sometimes that doesn't work good because I've gathered more of something than I than the others. So. Yeah. Here's last trough. One of the totems over here have respawned.
Ah, this one's respawned and none of the enemies have yet. Perfect. It says I had to kill feral canker mouths and totemic canker mouths, and it's way over there. That's kind of strange. Guess I'll have to find a way out of here. Uh, I don't see an actual path over there. So I guess I have to maybe get out of this area and then go over. Th yeah, it looks like that might be it. Yeah, I don't see any pathways over this way, so... I see one single side mission over here too that I'm gonna grab. I don't know about those two that are over. That's weird. Um. Okay, here it is. Gold corpse. It wouldn't surprise me if this just leads me right back to the farm. Yeah, it does, so... We're just gonna continue on what we're doing at the moment, because we have to head back to the farm anyway, so... Okay, I see a pathway up there, but I also see something over here. That's what it looks like it might be something over there, but it's gated off. The saw it looks like a gate door or something. Must be for something. Not right now. This must be- yeah, this is the code to make ones. Oh crap. I'm not gonna let you do it. So there must not be a lot of the tomatic ones around. It's only four, so they're also a bit more of a pain than the other ones. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was the other thing I remember. This Transylvania apparently has like quite a ghoul infestation. I think we're gonna end up getting our quota of ferals before we actually get the quota of tomatics here. Well, they've given us multiple tomatics to work with here. Here comes one of them at least. I was hoping they'd come over here because they were kind of like right in the middle of everybody, so it could attempt. If I had gone attacked right when he was in the middle of everything, then I could have had like four enemies come at me at once from being aggravated as well. Medics here. I'm guessing we're getting towards the end of this little area. So it looks like I came across some sort of building up that way when I was looking over there. Kill the ghoul leader. Yep, that must be the end of the area because it's very close. More ferals up ahead too. Looks like, yeah, yeah. Guess I was gonna get into a fight no matter which way I went. I guess the ghoul leader is the one in front of the fire. So as long as I don't aggravize those ones, we should be good. Yep. Okay. Patches. Patches the ghoul. You hate clerics? 